Good morning, class. How are you today? Good. Today, we are going to talk about a very interesting topic, which, of course, you love it. I hope you love it. That's good. Now, tell me some of the things you do every day, or almost at a time, or when you come to school. Yes, Eric, what do you do? You drink? Good, drink. I love it. Good. Mata, you dance? Marvelous. Love it. That's perfect. Yes, Jennifer, what do you do? You wash? Very good. Wow, wow. I love your contributions. Now, all the things you said are very good. When you put all these together, they are called verbs in English. Now, when we say a verb, a verb is a dream word or an action word. Is that okay? Excellent. In other words, verbs are dream words in English. So all that you said are action words. They are called verbs. Good. Now, they are concerned with what people and things do and what happens to them. So what you do, what happens to you, what we put together, we are called verbs. That is very good. Now, let's look at some examples of verbs in English. Marvelous. Now we have come. It's an action word. It is called a verb in English. You have sing, walk, climb. These things are called verbs. They are all action words. Good. We have six. To cry, to clean, to sweep. All these are all what? What we call action words. They are what we do and what happens to people and friends. So we have such examples such as examples of verbs used in sentences. We have Eric walks to school every day. He realize, he realize walks here is an action word. That is what Eric does every day. He walks to school. Now we have Desmond danced beautifully at a party. This is an action in the sentence. Dance. Dance. That is what this one did at the part of the end. And it's an action word in English. It is called verb. Now we have the next example. We have Rebecca sings slowly. Sing here is an action word or a dream word. This is what we call a verb in English. The next one we can think about the Peter Rice on the Football. Now, right here is the action word, which is called a verb. That is marvelous. Now, we have Mr. Seven teaches work. So, when you see your teacher in the classroom teaching, he's doing an action. That action in English is called a verb. Now, you take a piece of paper and write down five examples of verbs you know. After that, you do this work for me. You identify the verbs in the following sentences. That is very good. Now we have Ruby drinks a cup of water every morning. Now here, you identify the verb in this sentence. So you do this up to D. Now let's consider the last one. My mother. My mother arrived from the trip this morning. Now, you have arrived, which is a verb in a sentence. Yes, I've done this for you. So, children, you do this exercise for me. Thank you very much.